There are a number of different ways that the sense of smell can change. Some patients experience a complete loss of the sense of smell. We call this anosmia. However, for quite a lot of people, some sense of smell does remain and it's not as sensitive as it used to be. The term for this partial loss of the sense of smell is hyposmia. Patients recovering from smell loss quite often also complain of something called parosmia. Parosmia means that there's a distortion of the sense of smell. Common things such as food, drink, or perfume start to smell wrong and often quite unpleasant. Less commonly, patients can perceive smells that other people can't smell. Sometimes they smell an unpleasant smell in their own nose due to sinus problems. Occasionally, people can start to experience smells that aren't there at all, such as the smell of smoke when there is none, and we call this phantosmia. One of the most important things to mention about smell disorders is that quite often the sense of taste is also affected. Uh, the reason this occurs is because, in fact, most of your ability to distinguish between flavors is due to smelling the food that's in your mouth. Your tongue can only detect basic tastes like salt, sour, sweet or bitter. There are a number of different reasons that your sense of smell can change or reduce. Uh, one of the most common is viral infections. These include COVID-19, but also a large number of other viruses. Patients tend to experience a sudden severe reduction in their sense of smell and taste alongside the symptoms of the viral infection itself. And this can often recover quite quickly, but in some patients can be much longer lasting. Another common reason for developing a reduced or absent sense of smell is chronic rhinosinusitis. Patients with chronic rhinosinusitis have long-term inflammation in their nose and sinuses, and some of them form nasal polyps. Patients will generally experience nasal congestion and discharge, and in many cases, a gradual decline in their sense of smell. Aging also causes a gradual reduction in the ability to smell things, and this varies quite a lot between people, much in the same way as our hearing becomes less sensitive as we age. It's very rare for a reduced sense of smell to be caused by any serious disease. However, we do recommend seeking medical attention urgently if you experience a reduced or absent sense of smell at the same time as other symptoms, such as a blocked nose on one side, nosebleeds or bloodstain discharge from one side of the nose, severe pain, changes in vision or changes in personality. It is usually worthwhile seeing a doctor if you experience a new change to your sense of smell that lasts more than a few weeks. Your GP can often start medical treatment for disorders like chronic rhinosinusitis. If you have ongoing problems, however, it can help to see an ENT specialist. At an ENT appointment, we can examine the nose in much greater detail using nasal endoscopy. This procedure takes under a minute and enables us to diagnose common conditions like chronic rhinosinusitis and nasal polyps, as well as any other issues with the nose or sinuses. In many cases, the nasal cavity can look completely normal, which might mean that the smell loss has been caused by a previous viral infection. After making a diagnosis, we can then recommend treatment based on the likely cause of your sense of smell problems. The treatment of smell disorders depends on the cause. Sometimes recovery can be very gradual, so we usually recommend continuing treatment for a prolonged period of time. In patients with smell loss lasting more than a couple of weeks, we recommend starting smell training. You can find details on how to do this online. It is essentially a process that rehabilitates the sense of smell through repeatedly smelling a small group of essential oils on a consistent daily basis. There is evidence that this process can improve recovery from smell loss in many patients, especially when it has been caused by a viral infection. In most patients with persistent smell loss, we also recommend a nasal steroid spray or drops. These are particularly likely to help if you have chronic rhinosinusitis. It's not generally possible to perform surgery to improve the sense of smell directly. However, in patients with chronic rhinosinusitis and nasal polyps, Having endoscopic sinus surgery as part of your treatment can improve the sense of smell for a proportion of patients. It's very important that we recognize that there is also a mental health impact from persistent smell loss. 
There are excellent organizations such as Absent and Fifth Sense, which provide people with smell loss with advice about available treatments, as well as a supportive community for people going through the same difficulties.